this week, the theme we're going to be looking at is integrity. What is integrity? It is the quality of honesty, uprightness, and having strong morals. Perhaps you want to be someone who's known for having strong morals that others recognize. Let us look at a man who portrayed what it means to have integrity and who made a change in his environment. Think back to the time of World War II. Dietrich Bonhoeffer was born to a genealogy of theologians and was raised in Germany. He studied theology as a young boy and attended university as a teenager. Bonhoeffer was known to write many books and encouraging letters to the church, encouraging them to live consecrated and set apart lives. Today, he's known as a martyr for his faith. Dietrich Bonhoeffer was known to be against the national regime even before the war started. What you might not know is that his friends in America helped him escape right before the war broke out. But out of sense of responsibility and because he was a man of integrity, he chose to leave his safe space, the safety, the safe America, and be with his suffering people. Imagine a man with so much integrity leaving a place of safety just to suffer together with his fellow Christians. He actually continued to witness to people even when he was in prison then. He was arrested, he was in prison, and witnesses say that prison guards helped him smuggle out letters of encouragement to the community he wrote to and letters of encouragement to the church. Witnesses even say that prison guards would apologize to Bonhoeffer closing his prison door cell. Now imagine a man with so much integrity, so much responsibility for wanting to stay and suffer with his people, a man filled with God's love towards even those who persecuted him. Tragically, Dietrich Bonhoeffer was killed a few days before the Allies liberated Germany. Integrity in this case was a strong conviction to go back to a place of chaos, to be with people, a community that are in need, to not desert them in the midst of suffering. Dietrich Bonhoeffer is an example to us today in how he loved God in the midst of suffering and ministered to people regardless of whether he was free or behind bars. Let us reflect today how, can we be, how we can be people of integrity in our environments and in our circumstances in light of this martyr's life.